Well, before I head out of town, I always got to stop at my favorite little donair place. Uh, it's down North Maine, so I don't get this uh, very often. So this is going to be my last meal in the store. So after this one, I got to feed myself with uh, some bush food. So getting pretty excited to hit the road. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, that time of year again. So this is kind of like the adventure that marks the years that I'm on on YouTube, right? So this is now going to be my second year on YouTube. Last year, remember, we had a pretty darn good time. Uh, we came up here, did a solo trip, didn't bring any food, but we got a lot of grouse, uh, ate my first mushroom. So we are going to uh, expand on, oh, the noceums are starting to come out, fun. So we're going to expand on that. Um, the challenge this year, again, no food, but I also brought, I also made that bow. So I want to get a grouse with a bow that I made and an arrow I made. So that's going to be the challenge. I'm hope, hoping to uh, capitalize on that. Also, I brought my 12 gauge because I do have my goose and uh, waterfowl. So my waterfowl license so I can get go geese, ducks, all that kind of stuff. So if I run into one of those, I'll definitely take a shot. I also got a broadhead just in case I run into deer since it is deer archery season. Um, no high expectations for that. We'll probably uh, go look for some mushrooms, other kind of edibles, and just have a good old time out in the woods. Um, so it looks like this, the road 314 is closed 55 kilometers up. So I'm not, I don't remember how far up I usually would go to my spot. So let's drive up there and see what happens. All right. Let's have some fun. Oh, we're going to collect a little bit of birch bark for our fire tonight. There we go. I'll make some nice fire starter. Got a pile of it now. Well, we've made it into uh, Gem Lake. We got uh, a bunch of derelict boats, some good ones, some not so good ones. It's too bad when people uh, leave some garbage boats out here. But uh, but no, I've always wanted to make it up here, so it's kind of neat. Uh, in the morning, I might even walk down here with the line and throw it in. We'll see. We'll see how the day goes. I kind of really wanted to hunt, so I might uh, go try fishing somewhere else. But one day I'm going to come in here and fish this lake. Definitely a bit of a truck in. Um, but yeah, keep on walking. Keep on hoping for a bird. Well, guys, at least I found a bunch of rose hips. So I'm going to gather a bunch of these and I'm actually going to make some uh, rose hip tea tonight. <sighs> yes, we're not starving. We're not starving. Ooh, we got a spruce tea. Yes. Yes, great success. Which one? Oh, like back there? Oh, like that one, that little tree up there. I think the bigger the one beside one. the tallest one. Yeah, the tallest one within five meters of us here. Okay. Got him. Thanks, guys. Okay. Oh. Actually, pretty funny. So, went down into Gem, and uh, the guys are having the wilderness camp. They're kind of ahead of me, and they saw this up in the in the tree. So, and just before this, I saw three of them kind of walk past me, and I wasn't able to uh, react in time. So, have supper tonight. Yes. Didn't get with the bow, but that's okay. It was kind of like really thick in the trees, so I didn't really, uh, I didn't think a bow shot would have been uh, successful at all. So, 
Happy this is my first kill with the old Kui. Ooh, 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 ooh. First of many. Well, this is my sleeping arrangements for tonight, guys. We're in the back of my truck. <laughs> so I got uh, my Cabela's caught down here. And actually, this um, this sleeping bag is the... F oh, here, I'll show you. This sleeping bag right here is the first time I actually... Uh, I'm going to use... It. What brand is this? It is Rogue Expedition. So it's supposed to be for minus like 20 or so. So it should do me pretty good tonight. Since I know the wood stove's only going to last me about an hour. Um, but I'm just going to be mainly using it for cooking right now. Um, cooking, making some tea, make some coffee in the morning, stuff like that. So now I'm just going to chill out, going to have a beer, chop a little bit of wood, get that all ready. And, uh, we're going to clean up that grouse and put it, uh, and cook it up and have ourselves a nice little dinner. There she is. Home sweet home for the night. All right, guys, there's supper. I got the heart, I got the liver, I got um, some of the breast and the legs, and I left some breast for tomorrow morning so I can have that for breakfast. All I gotta do is I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in there and uh, a little salt and pepper, throw in the fire, and I think we'll have ourselves a good meal. Let's have a look. Oh, man, that looks tasty. Sorry for the shadow, guys. I'm uh, working with the headlamp here so doing the best I can do but look at that that looks freaking good time to uh, let it cool down and give her a little taste test there she is guys mm -mm -mm. so the first part I always eat first is the heart definitely my favorite also Olivia's favorite so now I don't get as many hearts these days so give her a try That was freaking good, guys. Oh, so good. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you guys. That is... That's part of the breast. That is tasty. So I definitely see a couple mosquitoes in here. Hopefully, uh, they aren't too bad today. They didn't bring any bug spray or anything, so... I am allergic to DEET. So I bought this natural stuff, and of course, I don't even bring it. This is tasty, guys. Oh. First gross of the season. Damn. That's good. Good morning, guys. How's it going? It's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, just getting all my stuff ready here. I've got my bag packed, I've got my fishing rod. I'm gonna walk back down to Gem this morning and see if we can find a couple gross on the way and maybe catch a fish. It's about, like I said, eight o'clock in the morning, so I haven't eaten breakfast yet, which is just that uh, gross breast from yesterday. So hopefully I can have a little surf and turf and then we'll have a coffee and stuff later on. So let's get loaded up, let's start walking in. It's about a two kilometer hike from here, so. Let's get the show on the road. This guy's got some fresh wolf tracks. Those were in here yesterday. They might be coyote, but they look a little bit bigger than that. So definitely had a wolf coming through here yesterday.
So I didn't com come here completely without food. There is one thing I did bring, I'll show you guys. So I brought some stuff so I can make some bannock. Honestly, I don't have this opportunity enough right now and I'm not uh, I'm not trying to survive on a loan or some crazy thing like that. So yeah, that's that was the one one piece of food I brought was some flour um, bannock mix there to uh, make some bannock. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be really good with that gross. There we go, guys. Eating like a king this morning. It's gonna feel good to get a little bit of energy in me. So there we go, we got the bannock, got the gross, and I did put some Aurora honey. This stuff is amazing. Bannock first, since it's warm. Oh. That's good right there. Mmm. Bannock is so simple and so tasty. Mmm. All right, time for some breakfast. So I think these might be actual cranberries. I'm honestly not 100% sure. They kind of smell and look like them. But uh, what do you guys think? Are these cranberries? I'm gonna find out and put it down here if I find out before I release this video. So yeah, so the trapper's cabin is just right back in there. So I went around, I didn't want to disturb him. If he was here, I wouldn't even have come in, but uh, man, what a dream place, what a dream place. All right, let's walk the sketchy bridge together, guys. <laughs> Keep right here.
this year last year it's an old mining site but they have a trailer they have a sea can there we got that trailer and then there's an excavator here up on the hill you can tell there used to be an office there and there's an old foundation for a super old mine here it always blows me away i just go and leave a an excavator here like this i mean this was here last year too so has not moved I just, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Well, just when I thought today was going to be a big skunk, boom, another sprucey. Oh, man, I worked hard for that one. I've worked hard for all of them today. Actually, I think the one I got today, so. Uh, I've probably seen 10, 10 or so. But you know what? It's, it's a struggle this year. Way more foliage to contend with. Uh, they don't seem to be right out in the open. They're like right off on the sides and then they gone and so thick in there. Even like I said a couple times, um, I was pretty close to them and I just couldn't shoot through the all the underbrush. So, oh, I thought I was going to get skunked today. Man, that feels good. All right, we're going to clean that up. And now we have uh, some pike and grouse for supper. Yes. We're eating like a king tonight. We got some grouse legs, um, grouse breast, and we got some pike steaks. Definitely a lot of work to get this food, but well worth it. It was such a good day today. Uh, it would be nice to see more animals, but you know what? It's raining. The foliage is thick. Doesn't really matter. I'm having a blast, and that's all that really matters. Just nice to get out of the house, be out here. So let's go get this on the fire and have ourselves a good supper. So there we go, having a big fire tonight. So, it's my camp tonight. So it's some swampy watering hole type thing. So, pond, I guess. Oh, feels good. Have the fire going, dry up. It's definitely a wet day today. Time for a little R&R. &R. Well, pike is ready first. Let's give this a try. Oh, that's really good. So good. Eating like a king tonight. <laughs> oh, these are the days that I live for right here. You know, I don't need Vegas. I don't need any of that stuff. This is what I need. This is awesome. So happy. So, today is also a very special day. Today is uh, my grandpa's birthday. Or would have been my grandpa's birthday. And obviously, since you guys are following me, you know that I lost him last year, and he's one of the most important people in my life. So, this is the second birthday now without him. So, so I'm gonna have a. Anyways, I'm gonna make a shot. I'm gonna do a shot for him a little bit later. This is a special drink if you actually watched my. I think my snow fort video then um you would have seen it it doesn't get any better than this yeah anyways i'll talk to you guys later well look what just hopped out in front of me <laughs> frog so cut off its head i got it I'm gonna put a stick through it i'm gonna fry it up my first frog <laughs> oh, there we go. Peel the skin back. Not a lot of meat, but really good, really tender, actually. Hopefully, I find a big one.
little bit. Well, look what I did last night, guys. I guess I had a little bit too close to the fire trying to dry off. And I dozed off in the chair. And I woke up to a horrible smell. And yeah, this thing was just a blaze. Too bad. I really like these boots. Oh well. It is what it is. <laughs> well, last day, guys. Looks like it's uh, the weather's already shipping out to be a lot, uh, or ship, shaping out to be a lot nicer day. So hopefully uh, a couple girls will come out and play before we go home. Now what I did last night, um, because this cooey's new to me and I still haven't even sighted it in at all. And I felt like there was a couple shots that did take at some grouse yesterday that I should have hit. <clears throat> so what I did notice is my this gun definitely shoots just to the right a hair. So now that I've adjusted to shoot just slightly to the left, I'm bang on every time. So things you learn with new guns, right? I guess I should have went and sighted it at first. Oh well. Anyways, just cooking up some breakfast, having some coffee, and then we're gonna get back out on the old growth trail. Alright guys, so these are bunch berries. They are edible and one neat thing about these is they make great jams because they actually contain pectin in them. So I'm actually gonna collect a bunch and bring them home. Because I'll be really good to, to put in our strawberry jams. Oh, look what I found, guys. I found some broadleaf plantain. Awesome. So good. This is also, um, if you have a wound or something like that, you can make this into a poultice and put it on there. It has lots of different medicinal properties. And edible and delicious. A good find. Yeah, I found what seemed to be just a trail all of a sudden just on the side of the road so I went for a walk down it and yeah definitely somebody made a trail. I think it's a beaver trappers. Check this out. So this is the area it comes into. Let's see it's a big beaver lodge right in there and uh, so I'm assuming they're coming in for beaver trapping because if you look here you may even made a little oh look at the bear this is fresh bear poop too. Yeah. But yeah, look at this. See, here's a couple really nice beaver runs. So, yeah. it'd be a great place to set some traps. It's always neat the stuff you'll find sometimes when you just, you're really looking. Go for a walk down the beaver trail. This is all I saw, guys. I was able to find it, so always keep your eyes peeled. Well, I think I'm gonna cut my uh, my hunting adventures right there, guys. Uh, the wind is atrocious today, so I don't think they're gonna come out. I've never really seen too many grouse on a really windy day. Plus, look at, look at the trees. All right, so I'm not really feeling safe in here anymore. Well guys, I think that's the end of my weekend out in the woods. So, hunting wise, I'd say a little disappointing. I mean yesterday I did like 
12 kilometers. Today I did another eight. And I got two birds. So also very humbling for me to just think I'm gonna come out to an opening and the hunting's gonna be very easy. Um, I'm definitely wrong. Definitely some factors that worked against me this year. All the rain created lots and lots of cover for them. Also, all the rain has uh, diminished the amount of mushrooms that I'm finding. But it's also washed out some of my hunting areas I go into. So I only had a few areas I could really go into. And uh, once I got in there, the, the cover was just so, so thick. Yesterday it rained most of the day, so they hunkered down. Today it's windy as all hell, so they seem to be hunkering down as well. But hey, we got a bit of food, got a fish, had a blast, and that's all that's all really matters. You know, with having two two young kids, it's really hard getting out to doing this kind of stuff. So, But I know that every year, every uh, September, this is kind of my, my solo thing, right? So I would definitely look forward to it. I think in a couple weeks, it'll be more prime out here for, for hunting. But uh, right now, you need to get all this, uh, all this ground leaves and stuff to F off. Because you know what, the majority of the, gr of the grouse that I did scoop that were down in the underbrush, you couldn't even see them until you are like right up on top of them and then usually fly off into the thick stuff and couldn't find them anymore. But hey, that's hunting. It's not always going to work out the way you want it to. But you know what? I came out here for more than just hunting. I came out here to recharge my soul. Which I did. So, mission accomplished. Now, there's a couple spots on the way home I'm going to stop and throw a line in. I've wanted to kind of fish for a while. And you know what? This time I kind of took things a little bit differently. I took things at a slower pace. Relaxed and chilled a bit more. Spent more time fishing, which I didn't do before. So, all in all, it's a great weekend. Not looking forward to going back to the city, but uh, it is what it is. Thanks for joining along. Oh, and I also obviously failed my, my mission of getting a grouse with a bow. Oh well, there's next year. Anyways, thanks for joining along. If you're new to this channel, uh, check out my, the rest of my no-pumming videos. They're actually some of my better videos, adventure-wise. Uh, and if you like that and you like the rest of my content, feel free to subscribe. Other than that, give me a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Looks like I got shotgun kill too. Ooh, I shot him right in the bum. Dang. Sick. Well, I guess I didn't get skunked today, guys. <laughs> Alright, last stop of the trip, guys. Stopped at Lockport. Thought I'd throw about 10 casts in, see if I can catch anything. Always good for some sauger or something down here. Alright, so let's head down there and see what we can get. Well, it wasn't for nothing. Caught a little sauger on the second cast, so let's see if we can get something bigger. All right, that was for sure my last stop. I'm for sure ending it here. All right, guys, so we'll catch you guys later.